Okay, so in this next exercise, we're going to look at the rib cage exercises with the foundation program. Okay, and again, we're going to work this exercise how, similar to how we did with the shoulder exercise. We're going to work on the small circle. And to start, I just see if I can get him to traffic a circle. So, you know, it doesn't have to be too accurate, but something like a five minutes, five meter circle. So my inside leg slightly back, my outside leg slightly forward and he's moving around there in the circle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to see if I can just drift him onto a bigger circle. So I'm going to ask him there just to drift out there onto a bigger circle. So now we're on sort of maybe a 7 or 8 or 10 meter circle. It's not really important just so that now we start on a smaller circle and we've drifted back out onto that bigger circle. Okay. And then we'll start to bring that in again. Go back onto that smaller circle. And then drift it back out into the bigger circle. Okay. Smaller and bigger. Okay. So let's talk now about the technique. What am I doing? Okay. Well, when I'm moving a horse anywhere, when I want him to go anywhere, I want to think about opening a door for him to walk through okay so rather than uh, trying to push him through that door i want to open that door up for him to go through okay so when i want him to drift onto the bigger circle the first thing do is just open up with my rein and open up with my outside leg okay so we'll just try to do that again coming past this camera as i come back i'm just going to open up with my outside rein open up with my outside leg and you see with this horse as soon as i take that leg off him on the outside there, he immediately walks into that gap. Okay, so I'll see the end coming past the camera so you can see what's happening on my outside leg, on my outside rein. So my outside rein and outside leg there are on the horse. When I take them off, he wants to move into that space. Okay, so what's my inside leg doing? Well, my inside leg there is responsible for generating the energy in the motion. So it's doing as much as it needs to do. So if I open up here and he walks to the side and it's not doing much at all, if he doesn't, then maybe I'm doing a little bit more with it. Okay? So we'll do that again so you can see my inside leg. So my inside leg's just there resting against him. My outside leg comes off, my outside rein comes off. It's really just, I didn't kind of maybe go as much as I did a little bit forward that side as much as I need to. That leg's there to keep him forwards and is to help me move him sideways. But a lot of what's happening here is with my rein and my leg coming off. The other thing that I'm doing slightly is changing my weight distribution. So when I want him to move a little bit more to the right, you see me just, just shift my weight slightly more onto my right seat bone, slightly more into my right stirrup. Okay, so we'll do that again there. Just shift my weight slightly more into that right stirrup. And that change of weight sometimes on its own, especially at faster speeds like the trot and the canter, sometimes just shifting my weight there is enough for that horse to want to change horse to drift over. Okay. So I'll ask that again, leg, leg off, rein off, weight to the right, and just ask him just to drift slightly. And again, I'm not really too worried about his form or where his hind end is. All I'm really looking for is just some movement laterally, that he understands, okay, legs come on, that rein's come off, I need just to move sideways and move into that space. Okay, that can all be polished up later on. All I'm looking for again there is just that lateral movement sideways. Okay, and what I found is that's the easiest place to work on that is on this circle. Shifting that way, opening up that door, and moving that horse sideways. Now, what you might get, you might get when you start to put that leg on that horse that he thinks, oh, a well, leg means forwards. So you might then need just to block a little bit with those reins and say, hey, not forwards, sideways. And you see with this horse, the more I block, the more sideways he goes. Okay, so my reins are sort of there, allowing him, allowing that forward motion. Okay, so if he's doing, if he's, if he's moving. 
vacuum to be moving, I don't do much at all. If I want to limit that, I just close up those hands and just limit that forward motion and allow him to find that comfort moving sideways. Okay, the next exercise we'll work on with this rib cage exercise is we're going to work on moving sideways along the fence line. Well, I haven't got a fence line, but I have got a border here, and we're going to use that just to see if we can get this horse to move sideways along this border. Okay, so in this exercise, what I'm going to look to do is I'm going to see if I can move him sideways. Now, all I'm going to do in my reins here is keep him looking out into that, into that wooded area. Like I said, in an arena or something where I had a fence, this would make it a bit easier because it would limit his options to walk forward. Although even as we've set it up, he, he, he doesn't want to walk forwards. And all I'm going to do is take my right leg off and my right rein off and put my left leg on. And I'm going to see if he'll just move sideways along that border. Okay? So using my reins there, stop him walking forwards. Just seeing if he just keep looking out there into that forest there and moving sideways along that fence okay now to start with I don't really need him to do as much as that all he needs to do really is just just kind of drift sideways maybe a step even if they just kind of moved sideways a little bit to start with would be enough but as we develop it further we can ask for more and more in terms of uh, effort and, and how far they're going with that okay we'll try that again because that first time wasn't really the prettiest he's a little confused i guess is what we're asking so that leg comes off my inside my outside legs on my inside legs off my right reins off his neck slightly and all i'm doing there is just keeping his shoulders straight looking out into that forest okay okay we'll go the other direction so you can see what my inside leg and inside reins doing so again walk him away and reposition him Get him parked to the outside. Now my inside leg comes on, my outside leg comes off. You see, I'm not doing a lot at all there, and if I was doing something, it'd be more of a kind of a bumping motion. My reins are just blocking him from walking forwards. And all I'm trying to really do is keep that shoulder straight and ask him just to keep moving sideways with that. Okay. Something along those lines. Now what I'd never do with this exercise, I'd never go left then right, I'd, I would always work in one direction and then I'd give him a break and I'd work him in the other direction. I think we mentioned that with some of the other exercises that we've done. You know, we're doing a lot of chopping and changing here, this horse has done a lot more of this, although he's still a young horse, he's done a lot more of these types of exercises, so he, he can cope with it, but when I'm teaching it to the horse, he's almost going to think they're two different exercises and sometimes you'll get something worked out one way but not the other way. So what I might do is work in one direction for three or four and then move to the other direction for three or four. Not chopping and changing. Establish it one way or establish it so it's more improved perhaps and then establish it in the other way. Okay, you've got those ribcage exercises now, give them a go.